Hi and welcome to Wildon District Council. I'm here at our offices which are located in Hailsham, just behind the High Street next to the Leisure Centre. Wildon employs approximately 400 members of staff. We're currently working in a combination of in the office and work from home. Some of my colleagues will now take you through what their role entails here at the Council. Hi, I'm Matt. Here at Wildon I manage the Policy and Communications team. Hi, I'm Beth. I'm one of the Graduate Management trainees. Hi, my name's Karen. I work in the HR team at Wilton District Council. Hello, my name is Harry and I'm an Assistant Planning Officer in the Planning Policy Department at Wilton District Council. The team works across the whole council, helping it with its strategies and communications. In the team, we've got people looking after the council's social media account, running surveys on all sorts of things, collecting and interpreting data and running marketing campaigns. As the manager of the team, I get involved in all of these activities just really to support the team. I work in business services and joined Wildon back in November, so about nine months ago now. I work on numerous different projects from joint project managing the office redesign project to equalities, uh, business continuity, elections. I have to say I had reservations about working for a council. I thought it was going to be a, a stuffy workplace just full of old people with outdated working practices. But I'm pleased to say I was very wrong. It's a lovely place to work. It's full of experienced, knowledgeable, helpful people of all different ages. There's lots of opportunities to progress and learn new skills. I started eight years ago on a temporary contract as a clerical assistant, then became permanent as an HR admin officer. And then I was given the opportunity to actually study for a professional qualification, all paid for by the council. And I'm pleased to say I passed and I'm now an HR officer looking after my own teams, which is really fulfilling and great to put what I've learned into practice. Having joined the team towards the end of 2020, while I can't tell you much about the environment inside the office, as for obvious reasons, I have been working from home. I can just give you some tips and general ideas if you're looking to start a career at a local authority. The first thing that I wanted to say is that because local authorities are responsible for providing services across so many different areas, this does mean that there is such a wide variety of jobs and career pathways available that are really diverse and offer a wide range of experiences across different sectors. I don't think I truly understood the large functions that a council undertook until I joined Wildon, and there is really so many and so many different career options available. Speaking from my own personal career experience and how I got into my job at Wildon so far, I did this through the route of university. I got my qualifications in planning and then I went and worked at another company for a year and a half before joining Wildham. However, there's so many different routes and entries into working at a council, but here I just really highlight and emphasise apprenticeship as a potential way in, and Wildham offer a number of these across different areas that I really think would be interesting for many people to look at as well. There's no such thing as a typical day really for me. There's always something different to be done. I do spend a lot of my time with the team, either one-to-one -one or as a wider group, collaborating on the various projects. At the moment, some of the team are working with our colleagues, consulting on the redevelopment of Hailsham Town Centre. Some of the team are working on a new tourism brand for Wildon, which we hope to launch very soon. I also spend a lot of my time particularly working with the guys in the climate change team. Wildon's made a commitment to be carbon neutral by 2050, so the team really are working towards that. Today, for instance, I've spent some time looking at some maps of the council car parks against where the electrical substations are to try and work out where we're going to put electric car charging points. This afternoon I've got a session on how we might use hydrogen to heat our homes in the future rather than the traditional gas. It's been really varied so far there really isn't really a typical day um, but that makes it more interesting more exciting and keeps me on my toes for sure. Human resources is a really varied role we're involved with payroll, recruitment, learning and development, employment law, employee well-being, policies and, and lots more. So you get to get involved with lots of projects on sort of a long term basis. But also you have to work really flexibly because you just don't know what's going to be thrown at you on a day to day basis as well. We work with East Sussex 
college group and Sussex Skills Solutions to provide apprenticeship programs and these are a great way for allowing people to earn whilst they learn and develop the necessary skills and experience within the workplace setting. Part of my role is to actually lead on this project so it involves working closely with the college to make sure we recruit the right people for those roles for advertising. Um, we put on a recruitment day where you get to find out lots more about what the council does. You meet council employees and quite often past apprentices that have now moved into permanent roles within the council. So I'd encourage you to have a look at apprenticeship programmes if there's any available because they're a great way to start your career or restart your career or just further your career. So yeah, have a look around for those. I thought I'd focus on some top tips. First of all, I would say relevant work experience is always a good one. Try and get some. I know it's tricky balancing college for part-time jobs, spending time with friends and family and obviously other responsibilities as well. I think even just a week or two relevant work experience can get you in a great position moving forward and is something that I wish I had done maybe a little bit sooner. In terms of future career aspirations as well, a top tip there, it's okay to be adaptable and change what you want to do as you go along. While it's great that some people know exactly what they want to do and exactly how they want to get there as well, others may not. So don't be afraid to let your career go in a different pathway and a different direction if something comes up at the time. Finally, a final top tip is don't be afraid to get in touch with prospective employers before applying for jobs such as apprenticeship. They'd love to hear from you, the HR department. I think it's a great way to find out if you'd be a good fit for the team. And obviously you can ask some questions about the job before the interview and see whether the job would be a good fit for you, which is of course equally as important. The HR department here were lovely for me when I first started and would I'm sure would be more than happy to ask any questions for those who are looking to start a career at the council. I found throughout my career the most enjoyment I get from work is being interested. It's always a very interesting role and there's also that sense of being able to help people. In my present role you don't get that immediate sense of helping people but you know that what you're doing particularly on the climate change is helping people of Wealdon and indeed the people of the world in the longer term. I joined Wilden straight after university. I've learned a lot already, that's for sure, and I'm keen to see what the rest of my time here brings. Best part of my role, I think, is supporting our employees and building relationships across the council. I can honestly say I'm really proud to work for Wilden. We've got amazing employees and they provide brilliant services to our community. Finally, I'd just like to round it off by saying that I've thoroughly enjoyed working at Wilden so far, and I'd highly recommend them as a potential employer to anyone watching this, whether that's someone at the start of their career or someone in the middle of their career who is just looking for a break as well. I completely encourage you to have a look at our website, wilden.gov.uk, and check out what we do, what we provide, and go onto those job vacancy pages and see if there's anything that you might like to apply for, because I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. <laughs>